everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how to create 2D drilling toolpaths. Now, to create a 2D drilling toolpath, you first need a 2D design file. And in previous versions of MakeCaraCam, this was referred to as a vector drilling toolpath, as 2D files are often referred to as vector files, where you can select the individual graphics within the design. But we're now calling this two-dimensional toolpaths and two-dimensional drilling operations, as you also have the ability to work with three-dimensional files in MakeCaraCam, which we look at in our other videos. So you can see that I have some simple holes in this design, and I'm just going to hold shift and select the individual holes that I'd like to drill in my design. And you could also use the create tools to create holes if you'd like to. But once you have the holes selected that you want to drill, we can create a 2D drilling toolpath. Now, you'll see that you have a couple settings and different parameters to manipulate for this type of toolpath, starting with the start depth. And zero would be the top of our stock. Drill tip end depth would actually be the end uh, of where the drill tip finishes at, at the bottom of the drilling. So you can see that I'm working with five millimeter stock. So in theory, if I were to set the end depth to be five, that means that the tip will come just to the end. But if I wanna poke the drill bit all the way through my stock, you typically drill past the depth, so that way you'll drill into some uh, spoil board or waste board below your stock. So I'm gonna set the end depth to be 5.5 mil, just past half a millimeter past my stock. You can then change your clearance heights or your retract heights if you wanna work around any clamps or things like that, but the defaults are usually fine and we can select our tool. Now, while you can create holes using milling operations, to do a drilling operation, you need to use a drill bit. And you'll see that we have a large collection of drill bits built into Make Carrot Cam with feeds and speeds already set depending on your stock. So I know that these are 2.5 millimeter holes. So I'm going to select my 2.5 millimeter drill bit and you'll see that the cutting parameters, the tool properties are automatically selected based upon the stock that I've chosen earlier. If you do want to change your cutting parameters away from the defaults, you can easily do that here with your feeds and speeds, and of course, check out our wiki site for specific feed and speed details. One thing that you often might wanna consider changing are your step downs. This is how much will be drilled each pass. So if you wanna drill uh, more slowly, you can uh, make this a smaller number. If you wanna drill more quickly, like plunge on soft material, you can make this a larger number. You also might wanna change your tool number if you have this loaded in your automatic tool changer on the Carvera, if you wanna set this to be a specific slot within the tool changer, or just assign it to be a different tool for your Carvera or Carvera Air compared to other tools that you might be working with. One of the most important things to consider for drilling operations are your retract. No retract means that the drill bit will just go straight through the material down into your stock. We typically want to do what's called a peck drilling operation, where the drill bit will gradually drill into the stock little by little, so that way we don't break our bits. And you have two options for peck drilling operations. Fixed Z height will take your drill bit out of the stock at a set Z height. So for example, moving to a Z height of one millimeter after each step down pass. Relative retract sets a distance that the drill bit will retract each time it creates a step down. So for example, retracting a millimeter after each pass, regardless of where it is in terms of Z height. After you choose the PEC drilling operation and your feeds and speeds, we can easily press calculate and we'll see that we have a little drill symbol here that shows us that we're drilling these holes. And you'll see that you have a tool path that will show the depth of your drilling operation as well. So that's how you create two-dimensional drilling operations in MakeCaraCam using a two-dimensional file. Check out our other videos for more guides on the other 2D tool paths or how to do something similar when working with 3D files on the MakeCara YouTube channel and wiki site.